Hey, I didn't see you there. <laughs> Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, don't forget to hit the subscribe button so you're notified whenever I post a new video. My name is Silen. Today I'm gonna to show you guys how to make a no-sew dress. I already have two no-sew dresses on my channel. If you wanna see a whole playlist of 14 videos I made of different outfits, I made different outfits without sewing, I'm going to put a link to that playlist right here. Now, today I'm going to show you guys how to make it another no-sew dress. This no-sew dress is um, a handkerchief dress. Now, I already made a no-sew skirt that's a handkerchief skirt. So if you want to see that video, then please click the link right here. So you can see I have a lot of no-sew projects already done and I have a lot more that I have planned for you guys. So if you haven't subscribed, this is the time to subscribe. Just go ahead and hit the button. It's free. And it's the nice thing to do so today i'm going to show you guys how to make this no sew dress by the way all you need to make this dress is your fabric chalk measuring tape and your scissors the fabric i'm using for this diy is called a scuba fabric this is the fabric it's a thin scuba fabric there's a thick version of this fabric that i used to make one of my no sew dresses that was a thicker version if you want to see that video link will be up here <laughs> yes you have to watch all my no sew projects yeah it is stretchy as you can see and it's a solid fabric now what a solid fabric means is that there's no clear distinction between the right side and the wrong side so both the right side and the wrong side are identical now this fabric is also self-finished so what that means is that when i cut it with the scissors or when you cut it with the scissors it doesn't fray now that's the kind of fabric you should look out for when you want to make this particular no sew project so if you want to see how i make this um open back um, handkerchief no sew dress then please keep watching so I'm using two yards of fabric for this DIY now the first thing I'm doing is I'm checking the width of my fabric and the width is 63 inches and now I'm going to mark the length of my dress so initially I marked 40 inches for the length of my dress but I tried it on I realized it was too long so I cut out 5 inches leaving me with 35 inches so right now i'm marking 35 inches right but if you want your um dress to be as long as mine you can mark 35 inches for the length but if you want um your dress to be longer you can mark 40 inches so it depends on what you want um basically just work with the length that's comfortable for you so having marked that um the next thing i'm doing is cutting that in a straight line just making sure that it's nice and neat and straight once I've done that the next thing is I'm gonna set aside the rest of the fabric I'm gonna use it for another no sew project so stay tuned for that just gonna set that aside and now I'm marking the midpoints of my fabric now I mentioned that the width of my fabric um, is 63 inches so half of 63 inches is 31.5 inches so I'm just marking that now. I'm just marking um, 31.5 inches, which will serve as the midpoint um, that I'm going to work with when I'm marking the rest of um, the things I'll need to mark. So from that midpoint, from the top, I'm marking five inches downwards. And then I'm just marking that. Having marked that, I'm marking six inches from that um, five inches mark. So marking six inches upwards from the five inches mark and now i'm marking the zero mark and the 16 inches mark across right and now in marking this i made sure that since half of 16 um 16 is eight i made sure that that eight points fell at that mid line i hope that makes sense and now i traced out a an oval shape so just going over the measurements again from the top i marked five inches and then from that five inches um, mark i went ahead to mark 16 inches downwards and you can see that the three inches mark um the three inches point is actually marked right and now the zero points the 16 inches point the eight inches mark fell at that center point right I hope that makes sense well now i'm just opening just making a tiny hole at the center where i'm gonna start cutting from i'm just gonna cut along that oval line 
just gonna cut along that oval line making sure that it's nice and neat and clean okay so guys happy new year by the way <laughs> It's 2021 like this is so exciting like if you made it to 2021 give God all the glory because it's all him right it's all him so I'm so glad that you guys are with me in 2021 I love you guys so very much huh so very much okay all right back to work so having cut that out that's basically it guys all I have to do right now I just want to cut a belt for this dress so I'm just making the width of the belt two inches wide and then the length of the belt is actually the full width of the or well, the length of the belt is actually um 63 inches which is the width of the fabric so yeah so two inches wide and 63 inches long so i'm just cutting that through if you don't want to use um, a belt from the fabric you can actually use any other um, maybe high-waisted belt or any other type belt that you like to use any other belt would actually work but um, it depend all depends on you and having cut that this is how you wear such a beautiful dress this is how you wear this beautiful dress um, so you're just gonna take that slip your arms through one arm in one arm in and then put it over your head and the rest is history just try to arrange everything and then i'm just um putting a nice belt just to hold everything together i ended up not using the fab the belt that i made with the fabric just because i felt this looked better but maybe when i'm wearing this next time i'll probably use the belt that i cut out with the fabric and then i'm just arranging the back you can leave it like that but i wanted my back to be quite low so i just um tuck that into the belt and i'm just doing a little dance for you guys you know celebrating 2021 <laughs> yeah i'm gonna stop talking now